Hi everybody and welcome back to the Independent Diner. I'm Mike Fucci, the Independent Diner. Tonight I'm going to make a super quick, easy dish for you that takes a little time and little effort. So, here's what we got. A buffalo chicken pasta salad. I stole this idea from a friend of mine, so I'm going to share it with you. Why not, right? Okay, so let's start. We got one box of large shell pasta. We have three chicken breasts that I actually put in a pan sear, then baked the rest of it off, put it in the refrigerator, and made it really cold. Blue cheese dressing, one green pepper, one red pepper, buffalo sauce, crumbled blue cheese, and a little bit of cayenne pepper for that kick. I love cayenne, I gotta have it. Gotta have that kick. So let's get started. So we have the blue cheese. So we're talking roughly one bottle, one large bottle of blue cheese, okay? We're gonna pour that straight in over the cold pasta. And we're gonna scrape that out nice. Get all that right in the bowl. Now, when you have that in the bowl, you're gonna add your chicken. Again, three chicken breasts, pan seared, and then put in the oven and then put in the refrigerator to cool down after it became room temperature. So we'll pour that in. Then we're gonna do our one green pepper and one red pepper. Throw all that in. Boy, that's starting to look nice already. It almost looks like Christmas. Are you kidding me? All right. So then I'm gonna mix this up real quick. I'm just gonna get it together, start melding it. Doesn't have to be 100%, because believe me, when you're done with this, it's gonna be perfect, no matter how you twist it. Get all that chicken incorporated. There you go, right around the bowl. This dish is gonna be a great summertime dish, or really any time dish. If you're a big fan of chicken or buffalo or anything, I'm telling you, you're gonna love this. Now I'm gonna put the blue cheese in. The blue cheese, I'd say it's roughly about a half a cup. A half a cup does the job. You don't have to go crazy. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna mix that in a little bit. Do it so that you don't break the pasta. Just fold it very easily. You're not looking to, you know, mangle the dish. You wanna keep it together. All right, let me get one more from the bottom there. Perfect. Now, the buffalo sauce. You can use Frank's or any other type of sauce that you want. It'll be fine. We're looking right here at about a half a cup. I think that'll do the job. Get that right in there. Put that dish aside. Now, let it all come together. Now, the reason I haven't put the cayenne in yet is because, to be honest with you, I'm not ready to put it in. But we'll get it in there, believe me. We'll use the cayenne as a finisher. It'll be a lot easier to uh, put together at the end with the finisher of the cayenne. But in the meantime, just make sure that Frank's dressing or that hot sauce is mixing in good with the blue cheese. Oh, look at that, that's nice. Now, the cayenne, this stuff, whew, be careful. Don't go crazy with this. If you do, you're gonna scorch your mouth off and then you're gonna cry for a while. I don't want that to happen to my friends. So please don't do that. So right there is about a teaspoon, okay? We're gonna get that incorporated as well. I like to mix my stuff in stages. I don't like to do it all at once. It doesn't make sense, right? Right. Here we go. Perfect. We're going to take again a little bit of salt, get some of that pepper in there. Perfect. Wrap it around. Get that all mixed in. Boy, that looks delicious. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get a plate and I'm gonna plate this up real quick. So now that you have all this mixture put together, what we're gonna do is put it on the plate. Now before you do that though, I suggest that you put this in your refrigerator for at least one and a half to two hours. 
That way it'll help everything chill down and come together. Now, let's put this on the plate so you can see how delicious this looks. I'm actually falling in love with this coming right out of the bowl. Oh, look at that. I can't get enough. Those crumbled blue cheese pieces, the chicken, the pasta. That is unbelievable. Look how nice that looks. Gosh. Go ahead and take a peek at that. That is the most absolutely perfect summertime dish. I can't tell you how many times I've eaten this. It is absolutely incredible. You can make this so simply in your house. I don't see how you could go wrong. Make it to your specifications. If you like more blue cheese crumbles, put more. If you like less, put less. Now, don't forget to join us on the independentdiner.com for this recipe and more. And if you like this video, go on YouTube, like it, and then on top of that, subscribe. Why not? I'm a great guy. I'll see you next time here at the Independent Diner. See you later.